In this video, let me explain to you the concept of pointers. Very simple. Psychologically, you have to come out of the phobia that pointers concept is difficult. Pointers, it is very simple. Nothing actually. So, after this video, definitely you will start playing with the pointers. So, it's a very easy concept and very interesting. And uh, most of the people in the market, they say pointers concept is very difficult. So, that's why at least you should master this. So, very simple strategy why you should master this. Most of the people say it's very difficult. So, if you master this, you will be Dada in the market. Now, let me explain to you very simple. Int A, it's an ordinary variable. Int A, it's an ordinary variable. So, memory will be allocated to A. Memory will be allocated to A. And definitely, there will be some address. So, for example, I take uh, 6, 5, 5, 2, 4 is the location, is the address. So, 65524 is the address where you can store some value and the name given to that particular location is A. Now, int star P, if you observe int A and int star P, so P is also a point, P is also a variable but it is a pointer variable. How did you come to know? Because of star. Because of star. So, definitely this also will have some address. So, that at this point of time we need not to worry. Now, how did you come to know P is a pointer variable? Because of star. So, whenever we incorporate star along with the name of the variable, it informs that it's a pointer variable. So, for example, the correct way of declaring a pointer variable, int star p. This is the correct way of declaring. Some people, they declare like this, int star p. And some people, they declare like this, y partial t. So, star in the middle, int space star space p. The correct declaration is this. So, int star p. Here star indicates that p is a pointer variable. So, here p is a pointer variable. p is a pointer variable. It can store the address of another variable. So, what here int star p informs? int star p informs P is a pointer variable. How did you come to know? Because of star. And it can hold the address of an integer variable. This int specifies P is a pointer variable. It can hold the address of an integer variable. So, you have to be very careful here. Here, int tells that P is a pointer variable. It can store the address of an integer variable. In this program, which is the integer variable you can see, that is A. So, P can store the address of A. How? With the help of the symbol ampersand. Ampersand is called address of operator. So, it is very simple. P equal to ampersand A. P equal to ampersand A. That is address of A. What is address of A? 65524 five, will be stored in P. 65524 five, will be stored in P. Now, A equal to 10. So, 10 will go to A. 10 will go to A. Now, printf percentage D A. So, what is there in A? 10. So, 10 will be printed. 10 will be printed. Now, printf percentage u ampersand a now address of a what is address of a 65524 now i want to print 65524 onto the screen so then i should use the format specifier 
percentage u percentage u stands for unsigned unsigned means i get 65524 the decimal address i get actually address is always unsigned means positive unsigned means nothing but positive so if you want to print the address use the format specifier percentage u but if you want the address in hexadecimal for example the equal 65524 the equivalent hexadecimal value is f f f 4 f f f 4 now if you want hexadecimal then use the pointer that is format specifier percentage p p also prints you the address but in hexa form okay in hexadecimal form so you get the output f f f 4 FFF4 is hexadecimal form of 65524. Now, here another way of printing the address percentage U P. What is there in P? 65524. So you will get the output here 65524. Now, print F percentage P. If you use the format specifier percentage P, you get the output F, 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 4, F, 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 4. Now, another way we can print the value of A is, so with the help of printf, 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 percentage D, because I am printing the value of A. So that is percentage D star P. Star P. Now let me explain what is the meaning of star P. Star P. Now let me write like this star. What is there in P? 6, 5, 5, 2, 4. 65524. Now, star means value at. Value at. Value at 65524. Value at 65524 is actually 10. So, I get the value 10 here. Another way of interpretation of star P. Another way of interpretation of star P. So, star P means go to P. Go to P. In P, you will find one address. Go to that address and print the value in that particular address that is 10.